Cancer Singles, welcome. It's uh, mid-October, Singles Read, Meet the Soulmate. And uh, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck here. Uh, the High Priestess on the front. If you've been watching the Soul Family Reads, it's been prominent lately. Uh, that's a collective read for whoever resonates. If uh, you would, check it out. You can see yourself spiritually, my particularly or readings uh, resonated with you. Also have the heart spread. That's for when you have someone on your mind. Now this reading is for when you're totally and completely single. So I'm looking for uh, your soulmate. So this is not going to be your next ex problem. Um, next ex uh, wife, ex husband. And so it's an always positive read. Because I'm simply asking who's the right one for you. And I believe there's more than one soulmate. Not This is not like looking for that needle in a haystack twin flame. But it would be the best person that's available to come into your life uh, and engage you in a soulmate relationship that's to your highest good. What would, like if you ask Spirit, you know, let's, let's bring in the one that's the absolute best one for your soul's purpose right now. And I believe, it's a belief, that then it would be the best for them. That's how it would work. And um, that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to try to describe them. These the four pillars. Uh, look at the emotional aspects intellectual love and sex and the core values and lifestyle i consider as the four pillars of a good relationship so we're just going to try to describe your person the name of love and light only so as serves the highest good spirit uh, we ask for your guidance here and let's start i did shuffle well ten of cups this is in their emotional nature and so at the ten of cups we'll pull two cards for each jesus the sun the Ten of Cups in the Sun. Wow. Um, this is in the emotional column. I also read the moon here. Let me move on. But, I mean, that's incredibly powerful. So absolutely a happy childhood, which is a little bit weird thing to say. But in and of itself kind of stands out. Because as I'm doing this, stories, personality, behavior, I'm looking for a personal history um, that will help you immediately identify who this person is is and then we'll throw in some astrological um, um, positions as well now this is in the intellectual position knight of pentacles that's very nice to have there up top conscious below here unconscious you can go that way and you have the three of pentacles very nice um, definitely an earth sun come back and look earth sun and the earth sun's looking back at this ten of cups looking back at this ten of cups um, um, but I'm going to do the sexual next and the lifestyle core values. Already I get that. Now this reads the, your person not so much looking for their past relationship stuff. But right off the bat I'm getting like if this person is single, um, something might have happened to their loved one. They might have passed. The uh, point is uh, I don't, they're looking back this night at the Ten of Cups. Um, this is not someone that would give up on a partner. Um, and then you've got the three of pinnacles under that. Um, so they probably have their sun and their mercury in the same sign, an earth sign, thinking about it. As we go along, I read the moon over here, but you have the ten of cups over the sun. And um, just let me go along, see how I feel. Wow, and then sexually you have the star. Aquarius energy, but also just the star. That's really nice energy. And the two of wands in the sexual position, which I like to see there. It's a contemplative two of wands too. You know, the ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck. It's a little different. It's not even on the ground, a little backpack, ready to rock and roll in that classic scene. Or it's kind of just thinking about taking action. Um, now, Ace of Cups, Lifestyle Core Values, Ace of Cups. What this means to me real strong, um, this person is, goes back to the Ten of Cups. They, they're only going to do something they love. So whatever they do for the, li the living, it's what they love. And this would be that way uh, for a couple reasons. One, they have a very good mind. I think this is a Virgo personality here. And they have a Virgo. And the three is Gemini and third, but... If it's uh, Mercury also rules, you know, Virgo. So 
and you can't be a Gemini Mercury, right? If you're a Virgo Sun. So we're talking about someone that's uh, very uh, grounded and uh, very logical, has an extremely good mind, you know. And um, with the Knight of Pentacles, uh, Mars energy, force, strength, but grounded, persistent. So this is someone that can sit down and study, grind it out, you know, um, whatever they need to understand. So would not surprise me to find that your person here, Cancer, has some kind of advanced degree, advanced training even, um, energy. And I don't think they would leave a relationship lightly. So if someone wanted to separate for some reason or something. So another story, they're, they're not going to tell you any horror stories, Jerry Springer nonsense type like, like that. Because I don't see them. They're very solid. They're not, they're probably just haven't dated that much. They may have not have that much experience even sexually. And now you get the, nine, the Eight of Pentacles under the Ace of Cups, the great worker card, great worker. What they, they do something they love, and I mean, they, they're, they do it well. They've done it a long time. I'm gonna say this, they're, they're like at the level of a lieutenant, you know, so they've done something a long time. Like this is a story they might tell you. They may have had opportunity several times over to move up in their career, in their job, I don't know. Um, but I believe they kind of made a decision this Knight of Pentacles, uh, like they would be in a relationship. I mean, remember this is your person, so of course it's going to be right for you. Um, but so they made a commitment to themselves about what they wanted to do. And that's whatever they're doing, that's what they're pursuing. They're pursuing what's really in their heart. They're pursuing their own heart. They're, you know, they're, they're not doing this work for anything else other than what's absolutely in their heart. Whatever that is, I don't know right now. So, looking to the sun, I don't know why it's confusing me under the Ten of Cups. Um, other than immediately I got they could be an, an only child. And I believe that they were with a couple who were very much in love um, and may still be. Um, they, I get the feeling that uh, they were born to a kind of younger couple. Um, and doted upon uh, a lot, greatly. And um, there's a dedication that this person will always have uh, to their parents. And um, that is kind of beautiful. I don't have that. There's a powerful... So you can expect now, uh, again, like they will never abandon you. If this was a soldier, this soldier can clear every man from the battlefield or he's going to die trying, okay? So, you know, they will take care of their people uh, here at Cancer. Um, and I do kind of get the feeling they're an only child with this son. And, you know, the, the son is them and they may, you know, I don't want to go gender, uh, but did not S-O-N, S-U-N. Um, so to both of the parents, you know, they, maybe they, I believe probably they had difficulty having children or do you have one? I mean, these are very loving parents. Uh, but I guess they wanted their own child, and this is the one they had, and somehow they feel I'm really grateful for this child um, from the second this child was born. So it may tell you that story, too, and of being an only child. And he won't be telling you any crazy, probably, stories about exes. If he does, he or she, uh, this person's got the Virgo energy big time. So, you know, they're going to be honorable. They're going to be honest by and large. You know, they're going to be kind of modest, sincerely modest. So then you have to think about uh, what the star is going to represent in terms of Venus here. And I'm going to see the two of wands as uh, Mars energy here. And that's definitely going to be Leo. So your Virgo person here, Sun, uh, is going to have a Leo Mars. And that can only leave Libra in the position of the star. So, um, with the Libra uh, Venus, uh, that's very well aspected. You know, it's at home there, it's where it belongs. So, there could be a really a relationship-oriented person. And you see the knight looking back at the Ten of Cups, you know. Um, um, if it were a male, protector male. If there were a female, uh, or if you look at your composite chart, probably significant energy in the fourth house. 
Um, for this person, I think family's important, probably children are important. Um, this kind of energy. And then with the Mars in Leo, um, it, it just sexually, that's going to speak more to their actions sexually. And it will mean that they, they are strong and can take action. I think it's probably well aspect to the Mercury here, maybe even to the Venus, and not badly for sure. And that's why, you know, they probably took some time. I can tell you this story, talk to them about it. It wasn't easy for them maybe to get themselves into the position where they are so perfectly aligned and doing exactly what they love to do in life. I'm sorry, whatever that is. I mean, it's going to be teaching. I mean, it could be an, be an artist. Um, so many things. It's something that they, they earned this. This is all them. It's like these eight pinnacles. They earned it. You know, they may have eight years of school. Be a doctor here. Or have a doctorate in something. Um, so... I think like in terms of relationship too, they'd be very charming. I think they'd be rather charming anyway, although it's not that fire sign charming so much. I think they can pour that on with this Mars here. And I think they're definitely gonna do it in the bedroom. There's gonna be a little change in your person. It's great. Like when you close the doors, they're gonna be a little fiery in their sexuality. And so they'd be a little bit at odds within themselves uh, with this Libra energy in terms of Venus. And, you know, Libra's like so refined and sweet and, you know, uh, that kind of energy. And Virgo's just the virgin, little kid, think of a little kid playing with their dolls. And then, you know, this is the lion sexually. So, you know, keep, see that how you want, you know. Some people think with males, that means, you know, they're, they're well endowed. Uh, and uh, they'll kind of be animals in a sack. And women, too. It's like... Um, you know, they have that fire energy, which they're earth, they're grounded, you know. Um, so it kind of would be a surprise, like, uh, so it'd be something like with this person, not that many people would know about, because I don't think this person has a big history. Ain't a lot of people on earth run around know what this person's like in bed, but like that. And I think you might have a Leo moon person here with the sun. I see it being so happy. Leo moon's like the happiest moon, I think, you know, and cheerful. Um, and so it might lead, uh, give them, you know, Virgo's so modest and everything. It, you know, they're not going to be the person that's out there. They're just going to be um, um, unassuming. And um, people will, just in their presence, naturally feel kind of uh, safe with them. Um, that kind of energy. Um, they'll kind of like a light, safe, unassuming energy that uh, people will probably like. You know, if they're if they wherever they work, whatever they do, like everybody will think of them probably in a very positive way. Nobody's going to be going, "My well, woman, what that bitch, that asshole." Not like that. They'll be like, "Nah, she's good people. He's good people." Um, be the impression because you know, basically, um, they are. And with this person too, you know, they could serve with this Ace of Cups in the Eight of Pentacles, so long as it's in what they love. They might be serving in a very Virgo way, uh, where they're so modest, so assuming, they don't get paid what they're worth. Uh, they, they tend to go in and just do the job and know what to do and be the backbone of the company, but then sometimes, especially with Libra Venus now, people please, or want everybody to be happy. Um, and so, you know, they could get overlooked, they could get used, um, they could, but this could be someone that really, whatever it is they do, uh, they may be like a s essential part of the machine. Uh, their particular contribution, this Eight of Pentacles, which, which is a particular application of their skill. Remember that I believe they would spent with this Knight of Pentacles a lot of patience and persistence acquiring this skill and doing something, whatever it is that they love. And so maybe, you know, they, if you talk to them about it, they'd say, well, yeah, I know they kind of take advantage of me at work, and I know I don't make what I'm worth, but, you know, if I didn't do this job, what's going to happen to all these people that I help? So I'm just like that, whatever it is. And they mean it. So they, there's three of pentacles, nine of pentacles. They think everything through, Virgo. They ain't, they ain't doing anything whimsically or fast. 
spuriously, guys. So let me know what you think of that, Cancers. Give me a like, a thumbs up. If you can comment, it helps the channel a lot. Um, and uh, subscribe. Thank you, guys.